It's a dream come true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a dream come true. Uh, you know, my, you know, the bent heart said, you know, make the shot, make the jumps, make layup. Win the quarter. In 2018, Zion Williamson burst onto the basketball scene, captivating audiences with viral mixtapes from his high school days. His repertoire included awe-inspiring plays like alley-oops, block shots, and reverse dunks, showcasing his versatility. The Zion hype continued at Duke, where he formed a formidable trio with RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish, often referred to as the Beatles of college basketball. Zion's athleticism, highlighted by thunderous dunks, blocks, and reverse windmills, transcended the boundaries of sports. However, the trajectory of the Zion hype train took an unexpected turn. Despite being the first overall pick in the 2019 draft, Injuries hampered his NBA journey. His absence extended to the point where he missed the first 45 games of his third year and the entire subsequent season. Over five years into his career, Zion has become somewhat of an afterthought, raising concerns about his overall impact. Comparing Zion's career to other first overall picks reveals a stark contrast. Players like Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Cade Cunningham, Paolo Benchero, and Victor Wembanyama have experienced varying degrees of success. While Zion's career has been marked by injuries, the lack of playoff appearances and missed games is alarming. Reflecting on the success of players from subsequent draft years, such as Luka Doncic's superstar status, Anthony Edwards' emergence as a top-tier player, Cade Cunningham's career-high performance, Paolo Bencaro's Rookie of the Year award, and Victor Wembanyama's moments of greatness, Zion's journey seems unconventional. Five years into his career, Zion's overall impact, playoff appearances, and durability are below expectations. While other first overall picks have made significant contributions and achieved varying degrees of success, Zion's story raises questions about his long-term trajectory and the impact of injuries on his career. In a one-to-one -one comparison, observing Duke, Zion, and rookie Zion Williamson in contrast to the player he is today reveals a noticeable difference. The balance, burst, and athletic ability he showcased back then seems to have diminished in 2023. While he occasionally exhibits flashes of explosiveness, the 2018-2019 Zion is incomparable to the current version. One aspect I wish I could highlight as an improvement is Zion's overall skill set, but unfortunately, he appears to be a similar player, relying on brute force, left-handed drives, and displaying an improved passing game with a still questionable handle. This season, his scoring average is the lowest since his rookie year, with a 10% decline in shooting percentage. Moreover, attempting only one three-pointer so far, missing it, and struggling at the free throw line with a career low barely above 60% indicate a stagnation, if not regression, in his stats. It's disheartening to acknowledge that at this point in Zion's career, he has become somewhat of an afterthought for NBA fans and the media. As the first overall pick ahead of notable stars like Ja Morant and RJ Barrett, it's tragic to witness his fall from the initial hype. This is a classic case of the media building someone up rapidly, only to see them fall flat on their face. In his first two years in the NBA, every play Zion made was a highlight. But nowadays, people are more inclined to check in on other players like Victor Wembanyama instead. It's like the Zion Williamson archetype has shifted, and while he remains a solid player, others like Victor have seamlessly filled the void left by Zion's absence. The NBA media perpetuates a continuous cycle, always looking for the next rising star, leaving former sensations like Zion behind. The incessant search for the next champion and the presumed greatest player keeps the conveyor belt of rising stars in perpetual motion. In the case of someone like Zion, who's missed over 200 games, the hype train keeps moving, regardless of whether he's on the court or not. Analyzing Zion's career from the 2019 draft, his rankings among his peers are quite surprising. 9th in points, 13th in assists, 17th in boards, 25th in minutes, and 37th in games played. Considering these subpar rankings compared to his draft class peers like John Morant, RJ Barrett, Darius Garland, and Tyler Hero, it's evident that injuries have significantly impacted Zion's standing. If that draft were happening today, players with fewer injury concerns would likely be chosen ahead of Zion. Despite the Pelicans' decision to sign Zion to a massive extension, it raises questions about whether he will hinder their progress and overall potential in the competitive Western Conference over the next five years. For stars like Brandon Ingram, who have contributed significantly to the team, the frustration and discouragement of running a marathon with one leg cut off over the past four years must be palpable. The Pelicans boast a deep squad with solid players like CJ McCollum, Herb Jones, Valanchunas, and Trey Murphy. But the key to their success hinges on Zion's health. In essence, Zion Williamson's journey serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating how the media's rapid and elevated buildup can lead to an inevitable crash back to reality. As Zion approaches his late 20s and potentially 30, concerns about his knees and the possibility of a lost cause arise. Wishing Zion the best, 
This narrative reflects the challenges of balancing immense potential with the harsh realities of professional sports. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the analysis. See you in the next one.